Hey everyone, welcome to Clean It With Rana. In this video, I am decluttering and reorganizing my husband's closet using items we already have. So if you want some major cleaning motivation, you definitely click the right video. All the shirts and look what I did. Well, I didn't do all ideas like that. But on my long sleeves, I buttoned They're the top. Together. Keep them all. I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna group them by color. Wow. <laughs> so things that are dingy, <laughs> wow. Man, they need to go. That, I've had this since probably high school. On this channel, you will find organization, cleaning, and occasional decor videos. So if this interests you, please consider subscribing so you never miss a video. Here is the background story for this closet. Both my husband and I decided to declutter our closets. However, I started with my daughter's closets upstairs. By the way, stay tuned because that long awaited video is about to drop within the next couple of weeks. By the time I finished decluttering four large trash bags worth of clothes, Gerald, my husband said, finished and looked so satisfied, but he had like four pairs of shirts on the couch. I said, you decluttered that entire closet and only came out with this? And then he said, I need help. So of course, I jumped at the opportunity to help my best friend. He struggles more with letting things go than I do. He gets this emotional attachment to things, especially if they're given by his parents. Now I can empathize with this because I was that way too with my grandmother's items. And yes, I do still have this 1990 solar power calculator she gave me just because of the backstory behind it or the comic strip newspaper she saved for me when I went to college because I used to read them religiously every Sunday, especially when I was a little girl. But you have to be really careful because when you do this, if you don't have one designated spot for them, it can take over an entire room. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you can relate to because I know there are a lot of people who struggle with this. Hey, like Michael Jackson said, you are not alone. So even though I was the main declutterer, I really wanted him to go through the process in some areas of getting rid of some things and that way he could actually hold himself accountable and even just get used to going through the emotional process of the decluttering. So here we're decluttering suits. He has suits that literally he could not fit anymore, not because they were too small, but actually because they were too big. And then he had some suits he just did not wear. So we decided that there were going to be certain people that we were going to give the suits to so that they're not just, you know, going anywhere. Once he went through the suits and decided what he still wanted, what he did not want and all of that, then I started to organize them by color. So I'm like really tapping into my home edit, you know, the things that I learned from them right here. So this section here was going to be like his dressier section where all of the things that go over here are things that he would use if he's wearing a suit and that way it's just easy to just know I'm going to this specific section for this. So after we finished decluttering the suits, we decided to go ahead and stay on dressier items and go ahead and go into the ties. So this here is what you're seeing, which is where we were decluttering ties and belts. Now this took a while because he literally had four different ties, no, four ties in, diff in the same color. So I was like, okay, do we need Four ties that all look the exact same. Can we get rid of the one that looks like it's 20 years old? I mean, all these different kinds of questions, but I was still trying to let him go through the process of deciding what he, you know, just being real with himself. He tends to favor the color blue. So I noticed that he, that was the area that he kind of took the longest on. So what I did was I first, would pick up a tie and then we would decide, is this something you've even worn? Have you even worn it in the last year? Is it something you can see yourself wearing within this year? 
Of course, you know, if it wasn't like a quarantine and we're doing a lot of stuff at home. Once he decided yay or nay, so say it was a yay, then I would put them in a stack by the predominant color. And then that's kind of how we were able to then go back through it again and decide, okay, do we want to have six of the same blue or do we want to have seven orange? And then we were able to really scale down a lot. So as I said at the beginning, we are using items that he already had. We did not purchase anything new to do this project. So there was a belt and tie rack that I think I bought him probably four years ago and he never used it and this still had the tag on it. I think I got it from like Ross for like $4.99 or something. So instead of getting rid of that, I decided to repurpose that and then actually use it so that he could store his belts and his ties all in this one area and it would be a lot more neat. So here's where you actually see us narrowing things down within each color. Like you can see the orange, green, the white, the red, you know, so you can actually see each color stack. So we're just narrowing things down. also putting the ties on the tie rack by color as well. Yay, look at all the ties that we got rid of. And now look at how it looks so much better. Now it's time to tackle these hats and shoes. Certain things we were looking for when we were deciding whether to keep or give away shoes were do they still fit? <laughs> Or do they even have a sole on the bottom? Like, are they just soulless shoes? I mean, it was crazy. He actually wound up getting rid of quite a bit of shoes, but it actually worked out well because it was so much easier for him in the long run or in the end to be able to see what he really was working with instead of just going through a whole bunch of different shoes. I think so far he did a wonderful job getting rid of so many different things. So now of course I'm doing the vacuuming of the floor. So since we moved on from the dressier section, now it was time to move over to the other side to the more casual section. So we had to really shift some things around to make sure everything was in the same spot. He has a ton of Nikes and Jordans and just casual shoes. So what I'm doing is he had some pants and jeans that were hung on the bottom rack underneath these shirts. I took those and put those up on the top rack so that we could just declutter that and then we could stack the shoes from the floor all the way up to where the pants used to be. Also, uh, I don't know if you were able to see, but we took t-shirts. He had t-shirts hung up and that was taking up a lot of space, but then he had empty drawers in this dresser. So I took the t-shirts off, we took them off the hangers and then you'll see later how I do the Comrie method for folding the t-shirts. Yes, it definitely looks like a Foot Locker retail store in this closet. And so we are going to be organizing these shoes by the type of shoe that it is. So it gets real technical, but it's if you're a Jordan shoe lover, you'll understand kind of what we're saying. Like all the Jordan 3s, all the 4s, all the 5s, all of that, everything is organized. And here is the finished product. I color coordinated all of the shirts and I did them based on the type of shirt. So like polo shirts, long sleeve shirts that he would just wear to work. And then there's sweaters, there's hoodies, and then there's all the different types of shoes.
Now, earlier I mentioned that I did the Comary folding method for his shirts and it was like a filing method and you're getting ready to see that in just a second. So you see here, it looks like a file folder. I love this method and we do plan to maintain this. I also told him about how he needed to respect his space. So if it's something that it just cannot fit, he's gonna have to really figure out what needs to go instead of just adding more things and then it just becomes back cluttered. These are like his basketball shorts and jerseys or whatever and his different work shirts. And then he wound up with like barely any sleep pants. He even has these pants that have paint on them. He just won't let them go. <laughs> these are his caps back here. And then the dirty clothes hamper here. So we really were able to utilize this somewhat awkward space, but I mean, we made it work to our benefit. Please let me know if you have a certain space in your home that looks like this and even how you organize it. And this is the so fresh and so clean, clean section. So I, of course, I also organize these by color. Ironically enough, the goal was to not fill up this space or not fill up this even this tie rack just because we could. We wanted to make it be where it was only somewhat filled up. Just because you have the space doesn't mean you have to utilize every single area of that space. I hope this video gave you much needed motivation to tackle an area in your home that needs some extra attention and to declutter something in your life that maybe just needs some decluttering. If you received any value from this video, please like, share it with a friend, and subscribe and click the bell twice so you never miss a video. No more hats hanging behind the door. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.